good Danny Green. But as Bob Harnett reports, soon we may have to think again. With none of the bling of a fancy gym, flying under the radar to all but boxing devotees, 31 years old Mark DeMori is a heavyweight with a 20 win, one loss, two drawn professional record, and very much a no frills approach to his work. Currently, I don't have a trainer and I haven't had one for years. Um, I don't believe you need a lot of motivation if you love what you do. He's not a fan of the traditional Australian going forward style of boxing. Seeing some of my heroes when they were past their prime with slurred speech and no money in their pocket, I knew that I had to be smart in this game. None of his fights have gone the distance. Most have been won by knockout, not necessarily by a blow to the head. More often with a powerful body shot. <laughs> People see the big headshots and they think, ooh, wow, uh, but when you get hit in the body, it robs you of all your strength. It's excruciating. <laughs> Including an 11 fight amateur career, he says he's never been hurt, not even in his one loss. I didn't get hurt because I didn't feel a thing. I was knocked unconscious. Just possibly, you're looking at Australia's first world heavyweight champion. Now, that's not as big a call as it might seem, because at 15 on the WBA list, he's Australia's highest ranked heavyweight ever. Rank number 15, you are eligible for a world title shot. Training himself out of his father's garage and sparring with his brother Eric, a pro at light heavyweight, just recently married, Mark is currently in Europe on a working honeymoon. I'm going to be fighting monthly and she understands I love to box. I'm happy when I'm boxing, so she wasn't going to try and pull me into a day spa and drink cocktails uh, every night. She knew I had to be training and fighting. Because legendary boxing promoter Don King has promised him if he can continue to win, he will give him a shot at a world title. For him to put his mark on me was a huge thing and a huge motivator for me to believe in myself that I could make it over there. Bob Hunter, Night News.